I have a personal question, Dallison. Feel free to answer it to the extent that you're comfortable. Uh, I wonder. You mean you're going to ask something about, about me? Yeah. Oh man, let the me out of here. Yeah, the Inquisition now. Uh, no, my question is. I mean, I'm, I've always been really curious about this. What is your prayer life and your daily rhythms to look like? Like, what do you do in normal days and things like that? Well, there are very few normal days for anyone, especially in our world. Uh, and so you have to be careful with that question. Um, so let me just say what is a constant that I can do every day, no matter what's happening. Right? And so uh, normally when I wake, I will work through the Lord's Prayer and the 23rd Psalm one or more times. By work through it, I mean not just rattle it off. You know, uh, you, you start out, our Father who art in heaven. Now just stay there a while. Okay? Stay there a while. Let that soak in. See yourself addressing your heavenly Father. Think about what he's like. It isn't my boss who art in heaven my eternal scrutinizer who art in heaven. No, it's my father. And uh, so now I have put myself in a position and I can begin to work through the others and you spend more or less time, well, same way with the 23rd Psalm. So now don't miss this, okay? This is something you can do. If you're the kind of person that wakes up when you wake up, you can do it before you get up. If you're, if you're not, you probably better stagger to the coffee pot first and uh, sit down and bless your coffee. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. And then work through it. Um, usually when I, when I sit up and, and now I'm getting out of bed, I proclaim, the Lord is here. God is here. I announce that. I recognize the presence of God. Now, what happens after that depends a lot on the day. But I want my quiet time to last all the day long. Okay. So if I'm going to have something like a period of reading scripture and specific prayer for specific issues, and some days I can do that, and that's good. Uh, but some days I can't. So what am I going to do? Well, basically what I talked about a few moments ago. I am going to keep the Lord before me. And that involves things like taking a break occasionally through the day. Uh, usually those present themselves naturally, but I don't waste them by checking up on the news. If I'm, I tend to watch news when I'm so exhausted that I can't do anything worthwhile. <laughs> um, and that's, you know, it's okay because that's a part of, of our lives. Uh, but uh, you want to renew our Father who art in heaven periodically through the day. Now then, that will not work unless you have some days where you're very intensive about solitude and silence and scripture memorization and fasting. So you, that's, but what I encourage, I don't think you can schedule that. Yeah. And I think if you try to schedule it, you're very likely going to fall into a deadened legalism. And one of the signs of a healthy uh, use of disciplines is how you feel when you don't do them. And if you feel guilt, then you need to rethink it. Right? Guilt is not a profitable motivation for the spiritual life. If you see, well, that was a good thing and I need to be sure and take care of that, that's different. See, it's, disciplines are like medicine. The ideal condition is you don't need it. 
they are not righteousness, they're wisdom. And so you, you need to have a longer calendar. There are some things you need to do daily, and you need to have those down where you can do them joyfully and receive from them, not in bondage, but in blessing. But then you need to think about your week, and you need to think about your month, and you need to think about your year. So you need to have a longer calendar and for example, fasting, half day fasts are fairly regular with me, but every few months I will do a full day fast and perhaps once a year, three days. By that I mean water only, uh, coffee, <laughs> but not a lot of it. You know. <clears throat>